it's 100 days to go until the um, premier women's hockey event of the year, the Women's World Cup. And I'm delighted today to be joined by Victor Brewer from the Netherlands and Bertha Bonastra from Spain. Hello to you both. Hello. 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 Well, great to see you. Um, I just thought we'd have a chat today about the about the two venues. We've obviously got the Wagner Stadium in Amstelveen, and we've got Terrassa, that amazing um, centre of hockey um, in in Spain. So, um, first of all, I'll just come to you first, Bertha. What does it mean for you to be part, you know, part of the organisation of this amazing event? Well, for me, it's amazing. No, I think uh, having an event like this in my own city, it's it's incredible. Um, yeah, I think, well, being director of this World Cup, obviously I would prefer to be a player, but um, it means a lot to me. It's being close from my family, friends, uh, the team also who is playing and to be part uh, the, of the organization, it's, it's, it's incredible, I think, to, to be able to give my point of view as an ex-player. Um, I think it can help the, organi the, the organization and also to be close to um, my ex-teammates uh, will be also um, great. Yeah. So just to quickly ask you, so there we are, we're in a match, Spain, it's 3-3, there's 30 seconds to go. Do you maintain your composure as the director of hockey or will you be standing in the stands shouting and screaming as loudly as you can? <laughs> I think I would prefer to shout and whatever, but I think I have to be quite calm. Uh, <laughs> it will be it will be difficult because I would jump on the field, but no, I think I will I will take composure there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Same. Same. Not the same question to you, Victor. I'm not expecting you to run on the pitch when your team's in action. But what's what does it mean to uh, the Netherlands to be part hosting this event? Um. After two years, uh, difficult years, without any uh, big hockey celebration, for us in, in Holland, it's it's quite nice to have our uh, uh, public back again and give our hockey fans a, a big hockey party uh, with uh, millions of, of fans in the Holland in Holland and, and in the whole world. So uh, we're happy to have a big celebration of uh, of, uh, of this kind and. Uh, uh, enjoying with all the people uh, in Holland who likes uh, to uh, watch hockey. Yeah, I mean, I've 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 sat in that stand surrounded by fifteen thousand orange-clad supporters, and it is a great place. It's a great place to be. Um, aside from the hockey, which is obviously going to be a great spectacle, we're also talking about two fantastic um, countries as well. Um, what can visitors, uh, and as well as you know the teams on their off days as well, uh, what can they enjoy about your city? What can they go and see? Just just give me two or three things that people who come to, we'll say Terrassa to start with, um, ought to go and see, Bertha. Well, in Terrassa, um, I think visitors will experience uh, a show far beyond the, the World Cup. Uh, there will be parallel activities as um, Master Championship, Mans and Dad Championship, the special hockey going on also. We'll have um, beach hockey also. Um, apart from that, in the Found Zone, we will have concerts, uh, leisure activities for families, um, food trucks typical from Spain and well I think yeah they will be there will be a, an event that goes far beyond the the World Cup experience and and those who doesn't really know hockey they will experience things not related just with hockey so I think it's experience for everyone not, not yeah. just for the, the hockey family. Victor beat that. Um, no, we have Amsterdam uh, to, to beat it with. Um, Amsterdam will be is great. It's a great city with uh, lots of historic uh, things. Uh, what uh, could you do in, a, in a, on a rest day? Or um, um, you can make a, um, a kennel tour, um, but you can also visit all the uh, the, the, the little uh, pubs to have drink in. I hope some. Um, um, but you also go go to the could go to the um, the the bulbs in in Lisse, um, and and see the 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 situation over there. So there there's a lot to do in a lot to do in in the neighborhood and. Uh, yeah, quite nice. Yeah, I mean, uh, fantastic cities both. Um, Victor, you've sort of touched on it already. The Dutch spectators approach to hockey. I mean, it's it's all consuming, isn't it? It's a, it's a big sport in that country. 
Absolutely, yeah. Um, yeah, they, 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 they're coming back and uh, quite close to the field uh, and they, they are going to um, give, a, give a, a very nice situation. Uh, uh, lots of uh, noise mm. and shouting and uh, feeling the, the, the game in their hearts. So mm. it will be as, uh, as it was uh, a long time ago with all the people around, quite much uh, noise, uh, shouting and, and, uh, and celebrating this party. Mm hockey party and, and of course if the dutch aren't on the field the dutch spectators are so knowledgeable about hockey that they will be supporting whoever is playing so long as it's not against the netherlands won't they absolutely absolutely mm -hmm. um i i have imagined uh, i have uh, in mind the, the the final in in london between ireland and uh, ah, yes. with a uh, lots of irish people but also a lot of uh, dutch people and we dutch we love the irish too and it was a <laughs> great final uh, all together so we always shout uh, for other teams too that's right yeah. absolutely Brilliant. um Bertha. Can you describe the atmosphere in the stadium when Spain takes the field? In my head, I've got that fantastic time where the sun's just beginning to set. Uh, it's very warm in the stadium. The teams are on the pitch. It's a great atmosphere, isn't it? Yeah, sure. And we know the Spanish people love to cheer. And also if it's for sports. Um, I think the stadium which opened, the Olympic Stadium, which opened in 1992, is being remodeled. And mm -hmm. I think everyone is waiting to be there to help the girls um, uh, have a medal. So I'm sure that all the hockey fans will be there cheering for the girls and helping them to, to go as far as they can in the tournament. Brilliant, thank you very, very much. I, I guess you two are both gonna be incredibly busy for the next hundred days, but uh, we look forward to seeing you, your cities and your hockey stadiums and your teams as well. Thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you.